Hello again, this is Sam from Explain Everything. In this section of the course, I want to provide you with the basic skills of digital whiteboarding that you will need to improve your online conversations. We discussed how our brain is essential in information recall, so we thought it would be appropriate to stick with this same theme and use the brain as an example for illustrating whiteboarding skills. So what you'll see here is the project screen of Explain, of explain Everything. To start, I'm going to start a new project and pick a template uh, when I start that new project. Now, when I hit that template option, I have uh, a number of different templates that are default provided by uh, Explain Everything. Now, just as a, as a reminder, you can use any of these templates in your daily conversations. You can also create your own templates so that you can refer back to information that might be important to you uh, when you're creating projects. For today's example, we're going to start with a custom color as the background for our template. I will use gray. As you can see now, when I hit that done option, uh, I will be presented with a new canvas with the background color that I chose. Now I'm going to start with adding media to my slide uh, to begin my project. So I will hit the Add Media option in the top left hand of the toolbar. And as I mentioned, we're going to use the brain as our example for today. And I have the, the brain picture here to begin our project. So I hit that option and then I add in the brain. And I hit Done. Now you'll see this picture of the brain has been added to my project screen. Now to draw attention to the subject here, which is the brain, I'm going to use the pen tool to underline my subject. Now I'm going to move back to the hand tool and I'm going to take my picture here and enlarge it a little bit. And what you'll see is that underline stuck to the background of my image. This is great for uh, annotating or drawing on top of PDFs to draw attention to specific content on that PDF that might be important. So now I have added my picture to the canvas screen and underlined my subject. What I want to do now is draw attention to the subject that we're going to be discussing today, which is the frontal lobe. So I want to take uh, this content directly out from my picture so we can reference uh, that specific content when we're talking about the frontal lobe. So how do I do that? Well, if I just want to talk about one part of the brain, I can actually remove sections from my existing picture. And to do that, I'll use the cutout tool. The cutout tool is located on the toolbar on the left hand side, just like the add media and the hand tool. So I take this cutout tool and from here, I'm going to cut out the topic that we'll be discussing today, which is the frontal lobe. And as you can see, when I use that cutout tool, I actually get a duplicate of uh, that existing picture. I can also use the freeform cutout tool to make a selection from a document uh, in any design that I want. So for example, in this case, I'm going to take the frontal lobe out from the brain. So this cropping tool is quite nice in pulling the exact content that you want from your picture or your document. So now I have uh, what I intended. I pulled out the frontal lobe and I also have the correct uh, piece of the brain there to support it. Our project is now created and we have the, the point of our discussion here, which is the frontal lobe. And for our topic today, I want to add in a little bit of information about what the frontal lobe is and why it's important. So I'm going to go back into my add media section here and I have a little bit of information on different parts of the brain. And what you see here are the four different parts of the brain. And as I mentioned, for today's example, we're going to be talking about the frontal lobe. So I can actually crop, crop just that out from the image editor. And now I just have the content that I like and it's added to the screen. Wonderful. Now I've added the content that I want to be discussing today. For our example, I can zoom in to information on the frontal lobe to help draw attention to the topic that we're discussing and what I want people to see. Now I can use the highlighter tool to actually annotate the piece of the document that I added. 
So for today's example, we can talk, talk about the frontal lobe being responsible for personality, behavior, and emotions. We can also use the laser pointer to point out specific things on the document without leaving any mark. What's nice about the laser pointer that's different than the pen tool and the highlighter is that you can actually point specific things out on a PDF without leaving behind the document or image. So you can actually change your highlighter color if you want. So you can talk about the frontal lobe being responsible for personality, behavior, and emotions, and also judgment, planning, and problem solving. Great. So what you see here is an introductory example of how to use the zoom tool, the draw tools, and the cutout tools within Explain Everything. As a final example, we're going to add in the browser. So I could go to the browser here, and I could actually look up uh, some additional information on our topic today, which is the frontal lobe. And it'll actually do a live search within that Safari browser to bring up the information that's relevant in, in the research or the topic that I'm working on today. Great. So now I have additional research or information to support the work that I'm doing. In summary, this is an example of how you can use visuals to support and enhance your conversations, whether in person or over distance.